Hey, thanks for coming by the Head First Fishing Channel today. I'm your host, Captain Joseph Rains, and today I've got a winter fishing report for you. It's January 2019, and I've been doing a lot of offshore fishing, specifically light tackle bottom fishing. I'm catching a lot of lane snapper, catching mangrove snapper, catching porgies, a couple of sea bass, catching some beautiful hogfish, and a couple of good grouper too. But I want to give you a couple of good tips of, on how you can get out there and do what I'm doing. So I don't have a very big boat. I've got a 20 foot bay boat. So I watch that wind forecast like religion. And when it says five miles per hour, anywhere to 10 miles per hour, that's where I'm going. I'm getting my gear and I'm getting out there. So I load up on baits like sand fleas. I'll get shrimp. There's always plenty of live shrimp around. I love that. I'll get white bait if I can. And uh, I'm gonna be sending all that bait down on something like this one-aught O'Hara circle hook or I'll use something like this Mission Fishing circle hook jig head in a pink color that's my favorite color uh, if I'm using a knocker rig then I might use this ounce and a half in calm conditions if it gets a little bit more uh, if there's more current I might bump it up a little bit um, but try to get a subtle presentation something that you know these size fish have no problem approaching. I don't want to use, you know, six, eight ounces of lead uh, for these fish. That's too much. I want something that's going to be uh, somewhat stealthy. Uh, but I'm focusing my efforts lately in about 55 to 70 feet of water, with a lot of time spent in 60 to 65 feet. Seems to be a lot of fish in that zone right now. So even if you have a smaller boat, if you watch the weather and you can get out into these areas and you know how to read your sonar, Get out there and scan around, look for life, uh, look for other boats, uh, or you know, hopefully you already have some spots. You know, put in some work, just driving around and look for that good hard bottom read and good that good live bottom read and and really look for those schools of fish. And when you find it, you know, put in your spot lock or anchor up and drop down these baits. I'm confident you'll get some fish. If you have any other questions, please email me at headfirstfishing at gmail.com. I'd love to talk to you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video if you'd like it, and I'll see you later.